In this question, we are given three vectors, vector P, vector Q, and vector R, and we want to find an orthogonal set of vectors having a span that contains vectors P, Q, and R. So basically, we want to find an orthogonal basis for the vector space that contains vectors P, Q, and R. I have seen this question at many online gate forums and in most of the gate books, but nowhere I have seen a convincing solution to this problem. And the reason for that is that there are typographical errors in the question and in the options at most of the gate forums and in most of the gate books. In fact, there was a typographical error in the original gate question paper also. And the question that you see here is scanned from original electrical engineering gate paper of 2006. And this one also has that typographical error. Now, first let's see what is the typographical error. So the vectors P, Q and R is given in the paper are linearly independent and that we can verify using matrix rank method. In matrix rank method, we construct a matrix with columns as the vectors P, Q and R. So the matrix will be minus 10, 1, 3, minus 2, minus 5, 9, 2, minus 7, 12. Now this matrix has non-zero determinant. Let's check what is the determinant of this matrix. So determinant of this matrix is equals to 84 and that is not equals to 0. So rank of this matrix is 3 and that implies that all the columns in this matrix are linearly independent. So that implies that the vectors P, Q and R are linearly independent. Now when a three-dimensional vector space has three linearly independent vectors in it, then the dimension of that vector space will be 3 and the basis should also consist of three vectors. Now in question 76, we want to find an orthogonal basis for this vector space. There are three options that have three vectors in the basis. And when we check them for orthogonality, none of them have vectors that are orthogonal to each other. In fact, the only option that has orthogonal vectors is option A, but it has only two vectors and three dimensional space with three linearly independent vectors cannot be spanned by a basis with only two vectors. So this question is unsolvable in that sense. Now, what is the correct version of the question? Here, the mistake is in vector P. Vector P should not be this, rather vector P should be minus 10, minus one and three. And if I take P as this vector and determine the determinant of matrix with these three vectors as columns, then that will be minus 10, minus 1, 3, minus 2, minus 5, 9, 2, minus 7, 12. And the determinant for this, I can do the same thing again. And here we see that the determinant of this matrix is 0. That means rank of this matrix is less than 3. And if I quickly check minor of 2 by 2 size, then that is minus 10 into minus 5 minus minus 1 into minus 2. That is equals to 50 minus 2. That is 48, which is non-zero. So rank of this matrix is 2. That means there are two linearly independent columns in this matrix and hence among P, Q and R, there are two linearly independent vectors. So the dimension of the vector space containing vectors P, Q and R will be two and the basis will have two vectors in it. So in that case, the option A will become correct and orthogonality of vectors in option A can be verified by finding their dot product and the dot product will have value minus 6 into 4 minus 3 into minus 2 plus 6 into 3 
that is equals to minus 24 plus 6 plus 18 and that is equals to 0. So the two vectors in option A are orthogonal to each other. In fact, we can show that we can write vectors P, Q and R as linear combination of vectors given in option A. And how do we do that? Let's construct a matrix with columns as the vectors given in option A and the vectors P, Q, R. So my matrix will be minus 6, minus 3, 6, 4, minus 2, 3, minus 10, minus 1, 3, minus 2, minus 5, 9, 2, minus 7, 12. Now, if I can show that there are only two linearly independent vectors in this matrix and those linearly independent vectors are first and second vector, then that will show that the vectors P, Q and R can be written as linear combination of the vectors in option A. For that, we need to transform this matrix into row echelon form using elementary row transformations. So let's do elementary row transformation in this matrix. First, I will do R3 to R3 plus R1. So this will give me, so here R3 plus R1 will lead to minus 6 here, plus 4 here, minus 10 here, minus 2 here, plus 2 here. So this will give me minus 6, 4, minus 10, minus 2, 2, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, minus 5, minus 7, 0, 7, minus 7, 7, and 14. Next, let's do R2 to R2 minus 1 by 2 R1 and this will give me here R2 minus 1 by 2 R1 will do plus 3 here, minus 2 here, plus 5 here, plus 1 here, minus 1 here. And this will give me minus 6, 4, minus 10, minus 2, 2, 0, minus 4, plus 4, minus 4, minus 8, 0, 7, minus 7, plus 7, 14. Next, I will do R3 to R3 plus 7 by 4 R2 and R3 plus 7 by 4 R2 will lead to plus 0 plus 7 by 4 into minus 4 plus 7 by 4 into 4 plus 7 by 4 into minus 4 plus 7 by 4 into minus 8. And here if I simplify these, this will give me minus 1, this will give me 1, this will give me minus 1 here, this will give me minus 2 here. So this will give me matrix 0. Here this 7 into minus 1 is minus 7. So this gives me 0. Here 7 into 1 is 7. So this gives me 0. Here this 7 into minus 1 is minus 7. So this also gives 0. And here this 7 into minus 2 is minus 14. So this also gives me 0. So here I have the matrix in row echelon form and I have this one and this one is pivot elements and that gives me this one and this one is pivot columns and as we know that in row echelon form the pivot columns are linearly independent columns and other columns linearly depend on them. So the vectors corresponding to pivot columns are the linearly independent vectors among all five vectors in this matrix and vectors P, Q and R can be written as linear combination of these two vectors. In the next question, we want to find which of the following vector is linearly dependent upon the solution of previous problem that is the basis of our vector space. So here we basically want to find out which one of these four vectors lie in our vector space if the vector lies in our vector space, 
then it can be written as linear combination of our basis vectors and to identify that we will use the concept of row echelon form of the matrix where columns consist of the basis vectors and each of these four vectors so our matrix will be here these two columns correspond to our basis vectors and remaining columns correspond to vectors in option a b c and d now to identify linear dependence or independence of a b c d on basis vectors we need to transform this matrix in row echelon form using elementary row operations so i will start with r3 to r3 plus r1 here r3 plus r1 will lead to minus 6 here plus 4 here plus 8 minus 2 plus 4 and plus 13 so this will give me matrix 0 7 11 12 28 9 and 10 next i will do r2 by r2 minus r1 by 2 and here r2 minus r1 by 2 will lead to plus 3 minus 2 minus 4 plus 1 minus 2 minus 13 by 2 so this will give me matrix 0 minus 4 5 minus 16 2 minus 9 by 2 next i will do r3 by r3 plus 7 by 4 r2 and here r3 plus 7 by 4 r2 will lead to plus 0 plus 7 by 4 into minus 4 plus 7 by 4 into 5 plus 7 by 4 into minus 16 plus 7 by 4 into 2 plus 7 by 4 into minus 9 by 2 and here we don't even have to calculate all the numbers in third row exactly all we need to know is which ones are 0 and which ones are non-zero so my matrix will become here this will be 0 here this 4 will cancel minus 4 minus 1 time so here this 7 into minus 1 minus 7 plus 7 so that will give me 0 here then here this 7 into 5 by 4 is positive plus 11 so that is a positive number that is not equals to 0 then here this 4 will cancel minus 16 minus 4 times so here this 7 into minus 4 is minus 28 plus 28 will be 0 then here the 7 into 2 by 4 is positive 9 is positive so this will be not equals to 0 and the last number will be 10 minus 63 divided by 8 and that is also not equals to 0 so the last number will also be not equals to 0 now we have to identify which of these four columns is linearly dependent on our basis vectors that is these two columns here we see that in these three vectors we have non-zero number here and there is no way we can take linear combination of these two with zeros here and get non-zero quantity here so these three vectors clearly are not linearly dependent on our basis vectors and the only choice that we are left with is this column which corresponds to option b in our question and if you want we can find the scalar coefficients for the linear combination of vector in option b with respect to the basis vectors and the coefficients for the original vectors will be same as the coefficients that we will get for the corresponding columns in the row echelon form of the matrix so let's say the scalar coefficients are alpha and beta so i can write alpha into first basis vector 
plus beta into second basis vector equals to my vector. This will give me minus 6 alpha 0 0 plus 4 beta minus 4 beta 0 equals to minus 2 minus 16 0. This will give me, I will add this column vector with this column vector. So this will give me minus 6 alpha plus 4 beta minus 4 beta 0 equals to minus 2 minus 16 0. This will give me minus 6 alpha plus 4 beta equals to minus 2 and minus 4 beta equals to minus 16. So here this equation will give me beta equals to 4 and I can substitute this beta equals to 4 in this equation. So I will get minus 6 alpha plus 4 into beta is 4. So 16 equals to minus 2. This gives me 6 alpha equals to 18 and that gives me alpha equals to 3. So my scalar coefficients will be alpha equals to 3 and beta equals to 4 for the original vector also. And if you want, we can check that also. So let's do 3 into our first basis vector. That is this vector. So that is minus 6, minus 3 and 6 plus beta is 4 into second basis vector. That is this vector. That is 4 minus 2, 3. Let's do the multiplication. So this will give me minus 18 minus 9 plus 18 plus 16 minus 8, 12. That is equals to. Now I'll add these two column vectors. So that will be minus 18 plus 16 minus 9 minus 8, 18 plus 12. That is equals to here. This will be minus 2 and this will be minus 17 and this will be 30. And if we see this vector is same as the vector in option B. So our option B is correct.